Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I have a friend, and I will call him George for the purpose of this video. George loves to camp and backpacking. He told me that he used a, a Joyce Chant carbon steel wok. Uh, he used this wok not only for cooking, but he used for everything else. For example, he used this wok as a washing basin. He explained to me why this wok is so great for camping. Uh, I actually have a similar wok at home. Uh, after listening to his description, uh, I went home and tried it out, and I could not agree with him more that this wok is indeed is probably one of the most uh, ideal woks for this purpose. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to take a closer look at this wok with you and show you uh, its many attributes. Uh, this wok is very well constructed. It is made of uh, two millimeter thick uh, carbon steel, uh, one of the thickest uh, carbon steel on the market. Uh, this wok is a 12 inch wok. What it means is that it measures 12 inch across the top surface of the wok. Uh, however, the bottom of the wok is uh, uh, wider than the traditional 12 inch wok. It measures around uh, 8 inch across the bottom of the wok. Uh, it is about 3 inches uh, actually uh, wider than the traditional 12 inch wok. Now, uh, the height of the wok is approximately uh, about 2.5 uh, inches. Uh, compared to a traditional 12 inch wok, it's a little bit shallower. Because of its thicker carbon steel construction, uh, this wok is a little bit heavier than other 12 inch wok, and it weighs in at about 3 pound 1 ounce. Uh, this is uh, lighter than the uh, average 14 inch uh, woks on the market, which usually weighs near 4 pounds. Uh, one very nice feature about this wok is that uh, uh, you can easily uh, remove the handle of the wok. A long screw is used to uh, attach the handle of the wok to the body of the wok. Uh, you can simply unscrew it and then it will become detached from the wok. Uh, this is a very important function for the uh, purpose of camping uh, because then the wok becomes easily uh, storable uh, even in a backpack. Uh, when you are ready to uh, use the handle uh, with the wok, you can simply attach to the wok relatively easily and it takes only about a few seconds uh, for you to put the handle back to the wok. Uh, the construction of the handle of this wok is excellent. It is made up of a material uh, known as black phenolic, and uh, it can resist substantial amount of heat. In fact, it can go into the oven up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this wok is easily seasoned with my spot seasoning method. If you are not familiar with this method, uh, you can take a look at this video. I usually keep this wok shiny uh, using a, a scotch bright uh, scrub pad. I do not season my wok with my spot sealing method each time, but however, every time when I find an egg, I will make sure I do that uh, because egg has a tendency to stick to the surface of the wok. I have not used this wok for quite some time. Uh, as you can see, the egg uh, glides uh, freely across the surface of the wok, uh, such as the wok is uh, well seasoned. And the large bottom surface of this wok uh, makes it behave almost like a small frying pan. Uh, this makes the wok more versatile because you can use it as a small frying pan when it is needed. But on the other hand, uh, you need to put in more oil to cover the bottom surface of the wok uh, compared to a traditional 12 inch wok. Uh, if you use this wok for camping, uh, these features might be exactly what you need. Uh, for example, uh, when you have a larger cooked surface, then it's possible for you uh, to make an egg omelet. In here, the uh, bigger bottom surface of the wok uh, gives plenty of room uh, for me to break two eggs into the wok and lay them side by side. Uh, this way, uh, you can make a two egg omelet uh, without any problem at all, which would be difficult if uh, in the case of a traditional uh, 12 inch wok, the surface area would be simply uh, too small. Uh, this larger surface area uh, will allow you to do many other things. For example, uh, you can make uh, even pancakes uh, in this wok. 
Uh, so if this is the only cooking utensil that you're going to uh, have with you, uh, then this wok definitely has a distinct advantage. And the big carbon steel of this wok makes it almost uh, non-destructive, and uh, it is also readily seasoned. Um, if, for example, in this case, the egg omelets are able to glide just freely over the surface of the wok. And therefore, in its ability uh, to be seasoned, uh, this wok, uh, in my opinion, uh, is performed as well as any other wok that I have used in the past. And so with a larger bottom, the wok has a trade-off uh, because the bowl shape of the wok is likely to be uh, less deep. A deeper bowl definitely has advantage when it comes to stir-fry uh, because it uh, uh, allows the stir-frying uh, to be more contained within the wok. And here I stir-fry some green bean with onion uh, to demonstrate the capacity of this wok under stir-fry conditions. And because of the bowl uh, is not as deep in this wok compared to uh, the traditional 12-inch wok, uh, stir-fry definitely tends to be more restrictive. And nevertheless, uh, it seems to work fine. Uh, I just need to be a little bit more cautious with my wok spatula. Uh, next, I'm going to cook a uh, chicken teriyaki dish in this wok. Uh, basically, I want to test the heat holding capacity of this wok, in this particular case, uh, to brown the chicken. Uh, because of its heavy-duty uh, carbon steel construction, uh, I predict that this wok will have excellent heat holding capacity, uh, therefore it will brown the chicken very well, as shown in this particular case. Uh, in this case, I was shallow frying the chicken, and uh, as you can see, is that the large surface area of the wok is an advantage in laying out the chicken. I do find the wok is restrictive because of its uh, shallow bowl. Uh, here I find that uh, uh, frying this portion of chicken is quite alright, but if I try to fry a larger portion, I probably will have some problems. Uh, if I'm out camping uh, with this wok, I probably would not uh, cook a significant large portion uh, of any dish. Uh, consider the multifunctionality of this wok. This is a uh, good trade-off. Another function I decided to test with this wok is uh, for it to use as a pot for boiling water. Uh, in this particular case, uh, for uh, making spaghetti noodles. Uh, this wok does not come with a cover, uh, but I found a 12-inch cover to use uh, with this wok. It definitely helps uh, the water to boil faster. Uh, making spaghetti uh, in the, this wok is very simple uh, because the spaghetti noodles fit uh, perfectly across the surface of the wok. I always use my wok to make spaghetti noodles, and I find the wok is perfect for making spaghetti noodles uh, because uh, the noodles fit really well. I normally use a 14-inch wok to make spaghetti noodles, but this wok seems to work uh, equally well. Uh, most people advise against uh, boiling water in a wok uh, because it, the process tends to remove the seasoning from the surface of the wok. However, if this is the only cooking utensil that you have, and uh, then you should use it for boiled water as well. So in this case, each time before you put the wok away after you boil water with it, uh, I will spray a light coating of uh, oil and then use a paper towel to rub over the surface of the wok that will prevent it from rusting. Uh, so for the purpose of size comparison, uh, this wok is sit right next to the 14-inch Cusina stainless steel wok. And when you sit this wok next to the traditional 12-inch carbon steel wok, uh, you notice that uh, the traditional 12-inch carbon steel wok has a much smaller uh, bottom surface area compared to this wok. And this is probably why I recommend this wok, because this provides versatility in the function of this wok. Uh, actually, a number of people in the past has asked me uh, to do a video of for recommending a wok to be used in camping. Uh, I have been dragging my feet about this uh, until about a couple of days ago. Uh, one of the viewers asked me uh, for the recommendation. Uh, he told me that he is a wildlife photographer, and he goes into the wood often. So thank you for asking, uh, because you uh, get me going to get this video finally done.
I, I must admit I'm not much a camper or a backpacker, but after doing this video uh, about this walk, it made me want to go out and do it and uh, cook with this walk in the wild. Uh, recently, another viewer whom I have become friend with uh, told me about the rocket stove. I really think this walk would be perfect to use with the rocket stove and cooking in the wilderness. If you're looking for a Christmas gift for somebody who do backpacking and camping, uh, this walk might be an excellent choice. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.